Good day, my people. This video is brought to you again by Inyolua Hat Millenary Academy. Please click on the subscribe button to get more detailed and explanatory videos from us. If you are yet to on subscribe, the subscribe button, please button. click on the thank you. Five yards should do the design. Four or five yards should do. So, so I ensure I have a straight um, edge, and then most times before um, starting working with my cinnam um, crinoline, I apply oil gum and then I tie it. So I have um, a good start, a neat start. So I'm going to be folding um folding into three just like this. So I'm going to tie this piece. So just pass it through it. It will come out but you hold it and then you tie it firm. So but the essence of the oil gum is such that when you tie it, it doesn't slip because crinoline is slippery. So once you have that gum there and then you put your thread, it will stick at once and then you don't have to keep tying and tying and then your tying is too thick. Okay, so once I have that, so I start my loop. So my thread is underneath and then I, I maintain that fold and then I try to form a loop. Can you see? But I will ensure that my finishing ends up on top here. So I just keep forming keep forming that loop. Fold into three again and And then you form another loop. And then you make it drop down. So you can see, so you just keep doing it down like that. So the ones I um, the first one I'm gonna tack it down. So This is my own way of doing it. I don't know if there's any other simpler method, but this is um, my own method I've come up with. So, so I go to the next loop again. I ensure. I have it folded into three and then I will ensure the thread hands under underneath so that I can bring it out for the next one. So just make it drop down a little and if you want a flatter um, shape you could you could iron it out before for me loose fold into three and iron not very hot iron mild temperature and then you iron in case because this we are getting this because of the folds you know you have crinoline folds from here so you always get this bulky but if you don't like the bulky nature but it has your own beauty too so you can see it's puffed up but if you don't want it puffed up you want it flat you can iron it out uh -huh. so once I get the second one, and then I have my thread underneath, I pass it through, I bring it out again, and then so I pass my thread underneath, leave it under, 
and then I do the next one again. So you just keep doing as many loops as you want. So this is my third loop now. So I make you drop down to a little from as you can see. So we are done with the loops now. So you can keep going, going on and on. If you don't want the puffy, you iron it out. Um, so now we want to go to this um, ruffles here, the ruffles we have here. So how do I do that? I start from here. I begin forming my pleats. Just keep forming uniform pleats. So once I make, once I make two pleats first, I'll tack it down. So it doesn't, um, um, because crinoline is very slippery and so just to tack down that base first. So once I've had that now, so I just keep forming, just keep forming the pleats form pleats. Ensure your needle um your thread stops under so that I can push it out when you are done with the pleats. So just keep forming pleats as long as you as you want. Uh, depending on how full you want um the ruffles to be. So just keep forming can you see the pleats? So if I'm satisfied, I stop there. So I keep forming. Can you see how I'm forming my pleats? So if I'm satisfied, I just cut. So. So I'll leave this junction now. And then I'll pack this place. So I don't lose my pleats. I tuck down my pits firmly. So once I'm done now, I use another thread, just the way I told us to always end, secure your end. So I secure this other end. So it gives me a neat job. I secure this other end. Okay, so I'm done securing um, the other um, edge now with another thread. So I go back to my pleats and then I continue my pleats. So to ensure a neat finishing, where that end is, you don't leave it on top, you pass it under, under one of those splits and then so you, you can see you have a neat finishing on top. So you still have your thread under it, then you bring it out. This part coming out. I try to bring it in, put it in. So now you can decide to, you know, bring out your ruffles. So can you see? So.
see so you can decide to put it on top of a turban or hmm, 